Time to switch gears now for some health news this midday. It's a new year and a good time to plan for a healthier one. There are a lot of things that could be done for good health, and we asked our medical expert, Dr. David Winter, to give us some advice on what he recommends. He joins us now. Good morning and happy new year to you, Dr. Winter. Good morning. Happy new year to you. All right. We want to start off with what are the best things that we can do to live healthier in 2024? First off, I recommend you make an appointment with your primary care physician for a checkup. If you don't have one, I recommend that you get one. You know, there are a lot of medical specialists out there, one for almost every body part. You need somebody to coordinate that, the quarterback, as I call it. That's your primary care physician. Before you go in, now make a list of all your medicines, vitamins, and supplements. He or she is going to look at that. Also, write down questions. You may forget one in the office. So write those down in advance and take that with you. Now, from that meeting, you want to get back the, the opinion of the doctor about your weight, your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and your blood sugar. Very important metrics to monitor for good health down the road, Tashara. Okay, good stuff there. Are there certain other tests that are important to have performed? Very important to understand that early detection of cancer gives you a good chance for a cure. Late stage cancer is often deadly. Now for screening we're talking about, for women is breast, cervix, for men prostate, for men and women, colon and skin, and then for smokers, lung. All those need to be monitored on a regular basis. Talk to your doctor about your own schedule for those. What about eating and exercising? I know a lot of folks uh, talk about those New Year's resolutions, and a lot of them include exercising. What do you usually tell your patients? Yeah, what's the best diet? Well, if you're a diabetic or have cholesterol issues, that's a specific diet. Except for that, though, a good Mediterranean diet is probably the most balanced one out there right now. As far as exercise, the key is regular exercise. I don't care what you do, it's do something three to five times a week. If you do that, you'll be healthier. And new studies have shown it'll help your brain to be stronger and it may also help to stave off dementia. So important to exercise and eat right. Okay, dry January, that's another big one. How about alcohol? It used to be said that moderate drinking could be good for you, but more recent studies question this, right? Yeah, a study just last week, New England Journal of Medicine said that alcohol contributes to cancer of the oral area, the esophagus, the liver, the colon, and breast cancer. All those can be an issue with that. And they found that in a big study now, over 15 years, folks had cut back significantly on alcohol, or better still, they say, quit altogether, had a 65% less chance of those cancers, 65% less. So... I'm kind of nervous about that myself. In fact, I'm trying to learn how to enjoy these mocktails. No alcohol, <laughs> a lot of flavor, a lot better for your health, they say. What kind of mocktail is that one, Dr. Winter? <laughs> <laughs> it's my own invention. It's pretty okay. tasty. <laughs> All right. I'll take that. Thank you so much. Always great advice. Appreciate you joining us this midday.